Hey, it's Sandy, and in today's nail video, Julie will be trying out these interesting nail painting guards to see if they really work. Don't forget to hit that like button and the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming nail videos. Hi, it's Julie. Now let's get started with the review. The nail painting guards I'll be trying out today come in a set with 26 hot pink reusable pieces in 10 different sizes. Inside the package, you get a little hand chart to write down the sizing so you never forget your fit, and on the back of the package, you have a step-by-step -step instructions for a regular one coat manicure and a French tip manicure. So to get started, I'm going to try on a few different sizes. Because I've never used these before, I had no idea how they'd fit, so I just went ahead and started with sizes 1 through 3 first. To apply the guard, just slide the guard onto your finger like a ring with the curved side toward the tip of your nail. You want the guard to fit kind of snugly on your finger. The plastic should go under your free edge if you have long nails, and it should cover the sides of your finger, just leaving the nail exposed. Size 4 ended up fitting most comfortably on my index nail. The guards are a soft plastic material, so they don't feel super comfortable on, but as long as you're using the right size, you shouldn't be experiencing any pinching or discomfort. So here is what all the nail guards look like on and how they look attached. As you can see, the ring band goes around the fingertips to hold all the guards in place. Now it's time to apply some polish. For demonstration purposes, I'll be applying the nail polish a little sloppy to see how the guards work. Right off the bat, I noticed that you can't be super careless with application around the cuticle because there's no guard there. But when painting the sides of my nail, the guard caught all the extra polish that would have ended up on my skin. I was having a little trouble with the guides slipping, and I did have to keep pushing them back into place during the process, but I noticed that the tighter fitting ones didn't have that issue as much. So here we go with the second coat, again being kind of careful around the cuticle area, but then just slapping the polish on on the rest of my nail. While the second coat was drying, I went ahead and wrote down my sizes on the included chart for next time. The instructions said to let your polish dry, then remove by sliding off, and not too bad. You can definitely see some polish bled into the sides of my nail towards the top where the guides were open, but the majority of the mess stayed on the guide. Now let's check the others. Again, a little bit of leakage at the top, but not nearly as big of a mess to clean up. Also, you can see here how the guides were a bit snug and left a little indention in my skin, but it didn't hurt and it went away pretty quickly. On my ring and pinky finger, I had a little more leakage, and I think it's because those weren't as tight on my nail. So I did need to do a little extra cleaning up on those two nails with a brush dipped in polish remover, but otherwise my manicure was fairly clean. Now let's see how these guards compare to other nail barriers. I'll be comparing these plastic guards with the Mini Peel Off Mani Tape and Liquid Latex. On my index nail, I'm applying the Mani Peel. These are a lot harder to apply than the slide on Mani guards, but they do cover all of the surrounding skin, whereas the plastic guards do not. And on my ring nail, I'm applying the liquid latex. This is a lot messier to apply, but you do have a lot more freedom with it and can apply as much or as little as you need. However, you do have to let it dry, unlike the other two options. Now let's see how these skin protectors fare up with the messiest technique of all, a sponged gradient. Right away, it looks like the midi nail barrier caught all of the mess, but we'll have to see how it looks underneath once we've removed it. Now, here you can see the issue with the plastic nail guides I was having earlier. Because the plastic doesn't cover the top part of the skin, all of that exposed area got polish on it. And like the midi tape, the liquid latex looks to have blocked all the polish from the skin as well. But now let's remove everything and get the final results. As expected, the plastic nail guard left a lot to be cleaned up towards the top of my nail, but pretty minimal on the sides. The midi tape got all except for right into the very edges where the tape wasn't covering and the liquid latex had the same issue, where I didn't get close enough to my nail and left a little bit of skin exposed. So I did have to do more cleanup on the finger with the plastic nail guard compared to the other two. One thing I really liked about the plastic guards is how easy and quick they are to apply. All I had to do was slide them back on and my skin was protected for the glitter top coat I put over top of the gradient. And the more I worked with these, the more I found that I liked the result better if I removed the plastic guards while the polish was still wet and kind of used the sides to scrape off any polish that got on the skin. Once you're done with the guards, you can easily clean them off with some nail polish remover on a cotton ball and then just slip them back into their little container slots. So do these plastic nail guards work? Overall, I think they do. 
Especially if you don't have a steady hand and you're needing to do your nails in a hurry, you can just pop these on and slap on the polish. That being said, they probably won't give you a flawless manicure and you'll still need to do a little bit of cleanup if you really want a clean mani. I also didn't like how the guide slipped a little, but that might be avoidable if you play around with the sizes. These guards also don't cover as much as other skin protectants, so I'd probably pass on them for gradient manicures. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to let us know by leaving us a thumbs up, and for more awesome cute polish videos and reviews, click on the info card in the top right of your screen. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, just check out the link in the description box below.